Hey, welcome back to Science Squad. And in this video, we're going to review the results of the actual UX prototyping challenge number two. And if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I gave you a brief, I gave you some sort of very high level instructions of these wireframes to produce almost like a maybe a social feed or a gallery feed where users are able to upload their photos or videos or capture videos or capture photos, add tags, maybe descriptions and save it. And so the brief was very open ended. And so we received four different submissions and all of them are very awesome. Obviously people spend time crafting it together and stitching it together and put different focus on different bits. So without further ado, let's jump right into every each of these cases. And so the first submission is by Sebastian and Sebastian also asked me to do a demo on an Android phone. First and foremost, I would like to walk through the prototype as is on a desktop. So you actually see as a prototype or how it would look in a preview. So Sebastian used quite a few different hacks. He used JavaScript, which he added customly. It wasn't part of a tool to animate this gradient in the logo. As you can see, it's a, it's a text, but it also changes the hue over time. He also made it pretty cool. My video type of feed or an app where you basically can just preview the latest videos. You can favor it if you want to the ones you like. So there are two states. You can also play the video if you wish. As you can see, it's all embedded and working. So he applied quite a few different bits. I guess the idea still as per brief, he wanted to show that you can add a video. And so if I would, let's say, click on add, it would open my upload view. But by his instructions, he said also that if you would do that on a mobile phone, it would actually ask for mobile gallery list. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool and pretty optimized for a mobile screen. Um, all that is kind of sticky. As you can see, the add button is sticky and it gives you a better idea exactly what the prototype is about. And if I click add, let's see if that works. As you can see, it brings up my Android contextual type of thing where I can access camera, camcorder, voice recorder files and if I go for a camera, if I, as you can see, it should capture exactly what I'm doing. So if I click capture and click OK, it then would simulate that it uploads. Of course, it didn't upload, but that's the whole point of a prototype to test it, that it sticks with the users. So that's pretty damn cool. Boom. And the next submission is by Hauk. And Hauk is basically saying that you're able to enter the username in his prototype. So let's say if I would say VA experience, my channel name and some sort of password, you would probably want to mask it. Uh, if you select the type for an input field to be password, it would be masked. So you wouldn't see exactly what person is typing. But let me try to log in exactly and see what he made. And as you can see, the prototype has several different hashtag based feeds for social media, which allow you to walk through and see exactly what sort of things people submitted. Hauk said that you can like in this specific shelf an ice bucket shelf, he gave a hint that you can actually like the videos as you can see it counts. You can like or unlike you can also leave a comment if you want to So something that say this is such a wonderful video and it adds a counter as well. Pretty cool. And then you can also upload a new video. So if I click upload, you can select to upload a file or record a video. So if we select record by his prototype, and you're able to select the angle of a photo, or let's say of a video like a camera angle if it's wide, if it's near, which is pretty damn cool. And then you can also record it where how just added a countdown basically to count down and indicate to the users exactly what's going on. So now I know that it's recording as well as this animation of in and out. Now if I click upload, he allows me to select exactly what I want to do with it. So I can like personalize uh, add some privacy settings to it. That's also really cool. And then publish it where he simulates, as you can see, a progress bar. And again, he used a lot of different bits, which I covered in previous videos. I, I'm sure he also hacked a lot and based it on his experience. But if you don't know how to do any of this, which is, as you can see, cool. Now he has a video of the stick figure. Um, you can refer to the videos previously. As you can see, he captured a 
basically a page per each of the chapters of the story. I would just, you know, continue with it and maybe add more fidelity, prototype it further, basically. And the next prototype is by K, and K just submitted this gallery type of prototype. As you can see, there are a lot of different pictures in it. I guess she has this type of uh, iPhone X as well frame around it. And you almost can add it like an inspiration board as much as I understand it. You can, let's say, click on an add button. And as you can see, you would, would open this prototype view where you, you have your latest pictures, which you can basically select from your gallery, let's say. Or let's say maybe it, it indicates that user uploaded to this app and they can select a different picture. There is an ability as well to use the camera. As you can see, she simulated the camera view too. And let's say if you take a photo, you can add the location where it was taken. So let's say London, UK, and then a description to something, something. And then she's basically indicating the ability to upload that in this app. And as you can see in the profile, it appeared as London, UK. So she used variables to transfer information from one page to another. That's clear that they know for sure. So there is also linking back to the home page to the profile page and then you can add more and then go through that same scenario to actually test it out with the end users. This is amazing simple prototype, which again, you know, for her it took a few hours to pull up, but now she's able to test it out and it's really cool exactly what type of things you consider to include for the story. So that story is actually tangible, which you can present to your end users, to your stakeholders, test it out, get feedback and, you know, share it with also other people. And another thing to mention before we wrap up with this prototype, of this case submission, is that let's say when you click on to add the video, she considered to adding a fallback back to the gallery, as you can see. But also there are two different types of submission. So you can either allow your users to submit a photo of themselves with a camera, or you can submit a video. And let's say if they do a video, it would go through the same flow. But now you can at least, you know, she tries to simulate both scenarios and see exactly what would users do, let's say, would they respond it well. And as with a previous prototype, I would recommend you to then now go further and try to add more functionality to it or try to smoothify it a little bit, maybe add fidelity, maybe actual pictures, use repeaters, things of that nature, because you can make it really, really awesome. And it's amazing start so far. Now the last submission is by Deluxe and his prototype is very high fidelity. As you can see, he animated custom different bits and it looks like the actual app. As you can see, he used a lot of different GIFs to simulate that there are video previous, which is quite smart. You can do it yourself. And by the way, you know, don't get discouraged just because some prototypes might look low, more low fidelity, some more high fidelity. It's all about time and time you are willing to spend because here, let's say Deluxe spent six hours so it's a whole day of crafting and being able to you know dedicate the time to the detail the more time you spend it's kind of like if drawing the better your drawing is going to be and same as with prototyping and so get it get inspired this is really good case to showcase exactly what you could achieve with action and he's saying that it's one of those cases where he's actually able to put whatever he wants to put from ideation to design instead of being constrained to what he has to do at work and so it's perfect to test his new skills learn from let's say the action videos the community and so he spent a lot of time crafting all these bits and as you can see, the menu is nicely crafted. And if we click on about page, I've seen this before already, by the way, he's adding this background and he's explaining exactly what he did and why he did it. His uh, playlist as well to get inspiration. So, and as you can see, there are quite a few different examples, again, using GIFs. You know, if you don't know how to do this, it's quite simple, actually. You just need to mask the different GIFs to be done. And as you can see, you can actually um, bump or, you know, favorite in a way, uh, these entries, you know, the submissions from, let's say different people. And I like this animation he added, basically, whenever you try to favorite, it animates in and all of this he did in action as well. So you can achieve all of that yourself. And if you want to capture, let's say if a user of this app would want to capture a video, you know, as you can see, he added a GIF and this is probably a static slide of a GIF. 
And if I would click that, as you can see, it now simulates that it's recording crazy tongue, by the way, all of this is almost automatically as you can see, I didn't even click anything. So he's simulating the scenario of how the user would actually go through. And so he has that video in he can as a user, you can add the title. As you can see, he animated everything in for the users, just I guess, to showcase how it could look like and now I'm typing it. And let's say if you would publish it, as you can see, he had nice graded animation, animating in different bits. And then imagine that your post appears. And this is a lot of time spent, he was clear that he spent a day crafting this. And so this is something you could do if you want to. And I encourage you to invest your time to experiment to find new ways because he was basically pushing himself to do this. And so every submission here is amazing. I'm, I'm really surprised how you know, involved community got and how involved all the viewers got to submit these bits. I really encourage all other people because you can see you don't have to spend time if you don't have time. As long as you practice, as long as you share, you're more likely to then continue on learning action and rapid prototyping, uh, having rationale in place and methods in place to actually deliver amazing prototypes, which everybody loves. And so as promised as well, there's going to be a follow up video of me trying to make it so you actually can get a walk through exactly how I would craft it. Again, some of it might be very simple for you. Some of them might be very advanced because you know, as you can see, there's different calibers of designers and different experience. But I would recommend you to stay tuned because it's going to be an exciting case because hey, it's not just a challenge for you. It's a challenge for myself too. So stay tuned for that. Give a like to this video if you liked it, share with a friend, leave a comment down below. And on this note, I'll see you next time.